today I'm going to be sharing with you the goodies that I got whenever I attended the DFW Fiber Fest. So what Fiber Fest is, is in the DFW area, which is the Dallas-Fort Worth area, they rent out the convention center and basically there is a bunch of yarn stores and dyers. It's just a bunch of different people come and they bring their yarn and you can go shopping and there's this giant vendor hall and you get to meet a bunch of people and just have a lot of fun and they have a bunch of events going on, classes, things like that. I went on Friday and I just went to the vendor hall and I got some goodies there and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share with you guys what I got. But it was really awesome because not only did they have yarn there but they also had people who were selling craft bags, um, stitch marks, Markers, needles, all things like that. It was so much fun. I had a blast. It was so cool to be in a room where everybody is a maker and everybody has that in common. Everybody there loves yarn, so it was great to be in an atmosphere like that. So I thought I would share with you guys what I got. So let's get started. So the first thing, it's actually the first thing I bought there was stitch markers. I believe this booth was called the sexy knitter i believe so and i wasn't able to grab her card or anything but the first thing i got was a stitch marker bracelet and this is just so pretty and she had a bunch of different bracelets with different themes and i got the beauty and the beast one because that is my favorite disney movie and so it has just a bunch of different stitch markers on here one that says tales old as time um a a storybook that says once upon a time there's a castle it just has all these different elements from the movie beauty and the beast and it's just so pretty and there's also um the there's also Belle and the beast there um when they're when she's in her gown it's kind of before they dance and everything it is so cute and pretty and i just love them it makes me smile i was having a hard time deciding between this one and there was also a disney princess one but beating the beast is my favorite movie so i decided to get this and then I got I got two more things. One thing that I don't have all of them because I split it with my mom. Um, you were able to buy packets of stitch markers. So I got that. And it came in this little pouch. And it was the Catstronaut little kit. It was really cute play on words. I loved it. Um, but it basically in that one, it came with this little pouch that has a little cats who are astronauts on it. It's adorable. And then it came with a couple of different stitch markers. So there it came with like a pink cat, a little white cat. So cute, isn't it? Oh, I've got a hair on me. So cute. And then it has a purple cat and a black cat and then it came with this stitch marker which has a a little spaceship and stars and everything so it's super cute and then i also like i said the other thing i got was you could pick 10 stitch markers and then um you got to pick out this little um plate that she had out you could pick whatever 10 so i split that with my mom so the three i got from it was this one which is snow white which was super cute and then i was actually debating between the cats and gummy bears and I was able to find a gummy bear on the um, singles, so I was able to get a gummy bear. And then I got this one of a cat, a black cat with a skull, which I thought also was really, really cute. So I'm really excited because I wanted to get some cute stitch markers. Because I feel like at these events you can really find one of a kind, very unique stitch markers. And I was really, really happy to be able to find some. So now actually getting into the bag of goodies. So I got this bag that they were selling. My mom actually got it for me. So we were able to carry this around instead of getting bags at all the different booths. You just had a bag and then you can also save on plastic because it's a reusable bag. So let's start with the first thing I got. So the first booth I went to, we actually walked the entire vendor hall first and then we went back. It was kind of overwhelming. I'd never been to anything like this before. So there was a ton of different booths and it was kind of like, oh my goodness, where do we even start? So after I got the stitch markers and everything, I kept thinking about this yarn and this yarn is nothing like I normally would buy, but I just thought it was so pretty. 
So it is by Destination Yarn and it is hand dyed yarn inspired by travel. And I just thought these were so pretty. So it's like this blackish gray color and then it has sparkles all throughout it. Hopefully you can see the sparkles and my lighting and everything. But I just thought it was so pretty and unique. And this was from her solar system collection. And she had a bunch of minis being sold with it too. And I just thought it was so pretty and it is fingering weight so it is a lighter weight but i just thought it was so gorgeous like i said it kept it caught my eye and then i kept going back to it and then i just said i needed to get it and, it, and usually i don't go towards sparkle but i just thought it looked so pretty because it reminded me of the night sky with stars which is what i think she was going for so it's just so pretty i absolutely love it So then I got this from, this is the Stunning, this is from Stunning String Studio and I saw they had a bunch of kits and also what was made out of the kits. So I saw this one, this is the Apple Picking Cow Quick Knit and so this is what it looks like and this I got the kit for it because I thought it was so pretty and it was something that I had never done before and it just looked really unique and I'm trying to get out of my comfort box with knitting because I tend to make the same things all the time. So I want to learn different things and I thought this would be kind of a good way to make something different and actually like buy the items for it instead of being like, oh, I have to buy yarn for that. So it came with two skeins that I'll need to make it and ooh, this is the, this is the... Um, stunning super wash and this is in the shade broken heart so this is a really pretty deep red color I really really like this red because typically I'm not a huge red person but I like it because it has a really dark deep burgundy red kind of throughout it and I just think that is so pretty and then it also comes with a blue color and this is in the shade Midnight, and this is also a really, really pretty blue that I just love. So I think they're going to, they look really pretty together in the actual item, but I just do like the colors, and I'm really excited to be able to learn how to make this. So also with this, um, you get the yarn, and then you also get some stitch markers. They're like these little gold rings, and then they also give you a code so you can download the... Um, pattern so you also buy the pattern whenever you buy the kit which I thought was really nice and helpful so then I can go on there I already actually downloaded everything so I can get started on this really really soon I'm super excited to make this okay so next I actually traded my mom we were on the lookout for some mini skeins and I found some at one booth and I really like them but what I wanted to make with them I actually I don't think I had enough and my mom was actually looking at the ones I bought and really really liked them so much so we went to another booth and she bought these hoping that they were gonna look similar and they did not so her and I traded so I actually didn't purchase these my mom did but we traded with the ones I originally bought so this is by Jim's Lux Fibers, and they had a super cute booth, and so these are just the mini skeins. This is the um, Hera collection, and then it comes with five colors, and each one has a 92 yards each, and they're just super pretty. I really, really like them. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of these yet. I'm kind of thinking of like a scarf or maybe a hat or something just because I think the colors are so pretty and the lady was so nice and she showed us what they looked like because she was needing a hat with them and was kind of gradually introducing each color and it was so pretty. I really really liked it. So I'm super excited to see what I'm going to make with these. And then at one of the booths I actually got a book because I saw this book and I was like I want to make everything in this book and I've never done anything like this. This is the Shetland Trader and this is the book three heritage. Um, I think it's a, it may be a series. I'm not sure but I just this was by Hill Country Weavers was the booth that I, this, I found this at and I just think it is so pretty just everything in it is gorgeous and I just can see myself making a lot of 
these different items and I've never done anything like this before and I just think they're gorgeous so this is definitely going to be out of my comfort zone I'm going to have to learn how to do it before I can I can even try any of these items but I'm so excited I just think they're so elegant looking and so pretty and just timeless so I'm really excited about this so this is kind of like my ultimate goal hopefully by next year I'll be able to make something out of this whenever I go to Fiber Fest again next year and be able to buy the yarn for it and everything so the last booth I went to and honestly Oh, I also forgot to show. At the Stunning String Studio, I got a shawl pin because they had a bunch of different shawls and they had these little pins on them. And I thought they were, this one was really cute because I had a little cat on it and it's in rose gold, which is my favorite type of gold. So I was really excited about that and I just love cats. So I think this will be perfect for some of the shawls I'm going to be making to kind of like hold it in place. So it kind of is almost like a poncho, but not. Kind of catch my drift there. So the last booth I went to, and honestly was probably my favorite booth, they were so nice there and so helpful, was the Silly Goose Yarns booth. And I got a kit, and I believe, I can't remember what the shawl is you can make out of this yarn. I think it's the Perfection perfectionist perfection i'll have it linked down below for you guys because i can't remember off the top of my head but you, they give you enough yarn to be able to make it so i i found i saw this beautiful green and i just knew like this is the green that i need in my life and it is in the shade spruce it is so pretty even my mom who does not like green at all she even was like that is the most gorgeous green it is so pretty i cannot wait i can already see myself wearing this at like Christmas and even in the winter and the fall but what's really cool about this kit is you also get a little sticker with the logo on it and I believe I read online that she named it after her dog the nickname of her dog so it's so cute with the little dog on it and then it comes also with a really cute stitch marker so I'm really excited because I just love having different types of stitch markers and then also wool, some wool wash, which I've never tried wool wash before. So I'm really excited about that. And this one is unscented so you don't have to worry about a smell. And then she also gives you the code to be able to go on and get the pattern for free because you're basically purchasing the pattern whenever you purchase the kit. So I'm really, really excited about that. And it comes in this cute little bag so you can actually see the colors and everything. And I like that it's not like in a plastic, it's in a mesh bag. I just think it's a cute little detail. And then with the shawl, they had the shawl on display, which is what first caught my eye. But what really caught my eye was the sweater underneath. The sweater underneath was so pretty. So they helped me pick out, these are the exact same color she used, but they helped me. They actually, one of the girls who was so sweet, she pulled up the pattern because she had made the sweater herself. And she looked up how, how much yardage I was going to need to make it. And then so I could actually pick out the yarn right then and there. So... And it's called the Love Note Sweater. And this is the yarn I got. So it takes, you have to hold together mohair and then fingering weight yarn. So the fingering weight yarn I got was this one. And it's so pretty. And it is in the shade Plant Lady. And I just love the shade of pinks and green. It's so pretty. I just love it so much. And then I got in the mohair, this is the Valentine Blush Shade. And I just think this is also so pretty. So you hold them together and it creates this beautiful, brighter pink gorgeousness, honestly. I know that's probably not very descriptive, but it's so pretty and I'm so excited to make it. And this is definitely on my list of things to make. I actually told myself I had to film this video before I could touch any of this yarn. I forgot I could touch any of this yarn to make things with so that's why I'm like really excited to make this video because I'm like now I can use my yarn but yes yeah, so that was my favorite definitely my favorite booth they were so nice there and I just really really liked looking at the yarn they had so many different pretty they were had so many pretty colors and then the owner her name 
is Courtney and she was super nice and actually was she's the one who actually made the sweater so she was able to show me the exact yarn she made and she also helped my mom pick out colors for her shawl so they were so nice and so sweet so I will definitely have them linked down below so you guys can go give them a follow on Instagram but yes yeah, so this was my haul from Fiberfest and I had such a good time I literally when I was there it was so cool to be in a building with a bunch of people who have the same love that you do we all have the love of yarn in common and it also really made me appreciate people who dye yarn and this is their passion I love supporting small businesses so this was really fun for me to be able to go and support some small businesses people came from all over the nation so it was people I believe that silly goose yarns they're from minnesota and i think the destination yarn i want to say they're from ohio like they're from all over so that was really cool that they were from out of state so i was able to see not just local people but people from all over so it was a lot of fun i had I had a great time and it's definitely making me love a little bit more expensive yarn because i do buy yarn from hobby lobby but this definitely made me dip my toe into hand dyed yarn and i really really do love it it's gonna be hard to go back to buying hobby lobby i think this is gonna be definitely something i'm gonna have to do a little bit more often because I have to say I really do like the look of hand dyed yarn maybe just a smidge more than the acrylic yarn I can buy at Hob Hobby Lobby so I definitely see more of the art side of knitting and crocheting and I really really love it so I'm super excited I kind of feel like my passion for knitting and crocheting has come back which is really awesome because I feel like I kind of lose it sometimes but I feel it like coming back and I'm really excited and super pumped so I wanted to share that joy with you guys. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have heard of any of the booths of any of the businesses that I talked about. Um, if you guys have ever heard of them, if you guys have ordered anything from them, and also what's your favorite yarn business um, hand dyer that you order from? I would love to know because I would love to support some small businesses out there, so definitely let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!